so very early in doTERRA's history, we knew that we wanted to be not just the leaders in essential oil variety, quality, all the things that doTERRA is known for, we wanted to be known for the science too. And that's really why pharmacokinetics is such a match made in heaven. Right? It requires these high quality essential oils and delivers science that is groundbreaking. But first, let me show you what does a basic pharmacokinetic study look like? How do we get this information of how much essential oil is absorbed and where it goes in the body? So we have our participants come into the study and ingest a known quantity of essential oils. We're focusing first on these ingestion trials for a couple of reasons. First, because it's important to know what that systemic effect is. Second, because it's easier to measure because it's usually in a larger amount when we're ingesting our oils. We have done some studies where we're doing aromatic exposure and topical exposure too, but the levels are very, very low and sometimes we can't detect because they're so small. So after they take that dose of essential oils, we take a series of blood draws from our participants over the course of 24 hours. Not every hour, but in the beginning when we're likely to see the data, we're taking some blood draws and we're gonna take a snapshot at each of those time points of what's happening with the essential oil inside the body. We analyze the oil for not only the, the constituents themselves from the essential oil, but also the metabolites. Remember that phase of metabolism where they're getting slightly changed and made more water soluble. We're looking for those metabolites as well out the other side. The GCMS, the LCMS, these are our instruments of choice. They're very sensitive and they are amazing uh, for what we're looking at. 